we are going to discuss about recon ng and this video the recon ng is a reconnaissance framework that is used for OSINT. OSINT stands for open and source intelligence so this recon ng framework is used in information gathering phase of pen testing so in one of our videos we have discussed about different phases of pen testing and one of the phases about information gathering about a target so like if you are if you are hired by any organization then maybe we need to test some of the system so that will be our target and that target can be anyone any individual any website and by using this uh, framework or these tools we are collecting information about a target and that is open source intelligence so before further discussion i just want to read this disclaimer that the video content has been made available for information and educational purpose only Reconnaissance itself refers to information gathering about the target and uh, with this uh, recon ng which is actually a reconnaissance framework we can query search engines we can search on social media we can also search on internet archive or we can also obtain this information about websites about web applications servers hosts user email addresses so you can see our target can be anywhere maybe in web application servers hosts or the users so this tool can help us to get information from all those resources and to do this recon ng uses various modules as we saw in in metasploit so yes this recon ng is like a metasploit framework which we have discussed in some other video but recon ng uses various modules to perform this job to perform this awesome and these modules can provide different functionalities this framework also provide development interface which gives an opportunity to create our own modules as well okay so now to demonstrate the use of recon ng uh, framework i have this machine kali linux and uh, to demonstrate it let's uh, launch this terminal click there we just uh, actually in this kali linux machine this recon ng tool has already been installed i just have to uh, type here recon and dash ng and you can see the color has been changed this means this has already been installed and we press enter after pressing enter this tool will be launched in our uh, in our screen here you can see there's another method of launching the same tool uh, from the GUI as well but we can use this uh, this uh, command line interface for this i mean this terminal so now you can see here this has been launched and this is the first interface which we can see but now you see that we have uh, we can see that this is the prompt and it says that no modules enabled or installed so at the moment there is no module which we can use um, to use this so for that maybe first of all we can install these uh, modules here so for that we can uh, we can use a command that is marketplace and using marketplace we will just install all the modules here so for that let's use this keyword that is market marketplace and then install all and press enter and now this should start installing all the modules in our recon ng framework now this all modules have been installed and uh, in some of the messages you can see this is in red it means there are some errors but these are due to some apis which we have not uh, set here so at the moment for our demonstration we don't need to worry about that to get some help here so we just in that case we can just type help and that will be help and press enter and this help command command will give us all the options of the command or, or the commands which we can use here so you can see these are the commands and this is their description like back dashboard db so you can read it out i'm not reading it but now after this main i think maybe this is now module command which we'll be using and this market uh, place which we just use that is the interface with the module marketplace so we have installed uh, modules and if you are looking for some specific module for some specific functionality then this framework has given us uh, some uh, some options by which we can search this so for that we have a command that is modules we need to use modules keyword here you can see this modules and after this modules we can use search 
search and then we can give the name of a specific uh, uh, modules so for example in this lab demonstration we are going to use a module to find out the subdomains of a domain so like we have uh, maybe if you remember then in our yeah, in some of videos we have uh, used this zone transfer dot me so if you remember zone transfer dot me so that was um, demonstrated to show you the uh, zone dns zone transfer attack so you can see this the website where we can get all these subdomains so let's say we are using the same domain and with that we are looking for some modules which can give us information about those subdomains or that will brute force check existence of host on that uh, on that domain that is domain is domain zone transfer dot me so it means maybe we can search for brute force maybe we say brute b-r-u-t so it means out of all these available modules we are searching for this brute force so with this word you can see now this shows that in this exploit, exploit, exploitation category we have this and in this recon uh, category we have these modules and maybe we will be using these uh, this modules to find out the subdomains are uh, of, of this zone transfer me zone transfer dot me domain so now we have decided that we will be using this module and uh, and the job of this module is to find out millets as subdomains uh, in this case so for that now we have uh, decided that this module will be using and uh, now after this maybe if you want to experiment then it's better to create our own workspace so workspace can be like uh, our own uh, like folder let's say so for that we have a command that is workspaces workspaces and then say we create create and then we can give any name to workspace let's say we are giving name test so we are creating our own workspace that is uh, named as test and now you can see after this you can see so now we are in that our workspace and now in this workspace uh, with this let's say again we need to search that is modules and search and then so that we are looking for the uh, path of that for of this module so we have this path and now to use this module first we need to load this module so to load it we have a keyword or we have a command that is modules and yes, modules and then load and then we want to load this uh, module here this is the name and the path of this module so i'm going to copy this module let's see here and after copying we will give this module here and then we just have to press enter so we have selected modules and uh, keyword load and this is the path and after this we just have to press enter and now you can see we are within that particular module here and now if you want to find out details about this module or the functionality of the module we can just simply uh, say info and press enter and this is info from here you can see name this is the dns source name brute uh, forcer and then time and then description is that brute forces host names using dns updates the host table with it with the results so there's some database which is maintained by this so in that database we can have all the hosts there and then to use this module we need to set some options so here says that these are some options which we need to configure which are required for example here the option name is source that is the default may have some different meanings and yes this this is something which we need to configure and that is source of input so now to use it you can see we have different source options one is default second is the string and then is the path and this is a query so we'll be using a string option so the string represents a single input but in default mean maybe it means there is some database of um, of domains and the values will be coming from there but we will be giving a specific domain which is zone transfer dot me so we are interested in finding out the subdomains for that uh, so for this we have selected that we will be using zone transfer dot me and but for that we need to 
configure these option or set these options and for that we can just here we can type options and press enter and you can see in options we can use this option to find out or to list the options or we can set those options or we can unset those options first let's say we are going to list those options so that we know that what options we we have we say options and list and uh, here options list you can see we have the source default and then we also have word list but we have the source first we are going to uh, select this so for this we just have to say options and then the keyword set and the source which we are setting so source is our we have selected our domain so s o u r c and the domain we have selected that is zone transfer dot me so this is the zone we have selected i hope i haven't made any mistake transfer no there is zone transfer dot me this is the domain which is a source which we are using this so we set this option and then we press enter and there's no error it means we are right there and after setting this uh, i mean this option we can simply use the keyword that is uh, run so now we want to run this module and we press enter and with run it should start uh, brute forcing to check the existence of hosts uh, on zone transfer with zone transfer dot me okay now this has been completed and now to see these all hosts we can uh, use the command show host and press enter and you can see now we should have all these hosts which has been searched or which has been found by this uh, specific module sometimes you want to create the report for that so this is also possible to create reports and to, to create report also we have some modules and let's first uh, search for that module which can be helpful for us to create report so we just have to maybe say modules and then search reporting and you can see now we have these modules which can be helpful in reporting and this reporting can be in csv html just on a list file so let's say this demonstration we will be using this html reporting we need to load this module and to load this module we have to use again the same keyword that is modules and then load and then we have to give this path that is reporting uh, html so we need to copy paste maybe copy this and then we paste it here so first we load this module after loading this module we have to set options so maybe first we need to see what option we have here so sorry click options list options list it will give all the option which we need to set here it says that options are creator customer file name and sanitize so to set these options we just have to say options and then set the first one is creator c-r-e-a-t-e-r -E -E so creator who is creator let's say i'm the creator let's say gd and uh, then the second option which we need to can create is that maybe we made mistake here options oh sorry i have made a mistake in spelling so that is o-r and then is the name press enter now it's all good and second option is just we have to set the uh, customer so that is cus t o m e s customer and then customer let's say we can give it a name like ub we can give like this one you be the customer and the third is the file name so this is the file name where we want to save this report so for that we can say that we want to save this file let's say first options and then set and here we have to give uh, the file name keyword file name and then we have to specify the path so that path let's say i want to save this result on home directory uh, in the documents folder docu 
names and then we can specify any name let's say i'm going to say name of this file will be report dot html so this is the path and uh, sanitize value that we uh, keep it as uh, true and then just we press enter and now we have set all these options and now we just need to run it and when we run it, it will generate a report and that report we should have in this folder that is home Kali documents and report here in home and in documents. And yes, you can see here we have the report generated here. So that's a summary and these are the hosts. So you can see here, these hosts all have the zone transfer.me, zone transfer.me. So we, all these subdomains have been, uh, I mean, detected by our tool also the modules and uh, so these are actually tables of the database of recom uh, ng and you can see we have 16 hosts here and this is how we can also generate a report and thank you thank you for your time hope to see you in some other video